Alright guys, Cyprian Francis here and in this video I'm going to show you how to duplicate a Facebook ads campaign. And I'm doing this live uh, for a campaign that's um, currently uh, running. It's uh, for a film. Um, so let me kind of break down how I uh, use uh, Facebook ads to run um, you know, campaigns. So, you know, let's just start with the campaign name, IFM. Um, the name of the movie is Indistinguishable from Magic. Um, running it on Facebook, uh, it's a VOD campaign, and then I'm driving traffic to iTunes. So I kind of put all of that in the campaign name. Um, and then in within that campaign, I create a number of unique ad sets um, that I think are relevant to this topic. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And within each one of these ad sets, um, we create ads. Um, so for this, we have three different ad copies, or actually four. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. Um, and then uh, we have two images. So let's go ahead and show you, um, you know, what the ad looks like. I put an ad title in there, VOD, ad copy one, image four, iTunes. Um, there's our copy, there's our image, right? So what I have to do is basically replicate this entire campaign and switch out the links from iTunes to Amazon. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you the, the fastest way to do something like that for a campaign that has... Um, let's see how many ads we have. Uh, 64 ads. Alright, so the way that I do this is I start off by um, hitting the duplicate button. Alright, so then we'll change the name of the campaign to Amazon. Um, I'm going to remove this set limit here, and then I am going to publish it. Yeah, let's publish it. Alright, so it's going to take... Um, couple minutes to load here you can see up here in the right the left hand corner it's got to replicate these 64 ads uh, which might take like 30 seconds 45 seconds maybe and then we're gonna have to reverse engineer this Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this off. Alright, so then I got my Amazon. I got all my ad sets. Let's go ahead and turn these off too. Um, and then I've got all my ads. Okay, so instead of um, you know going through each one of these individually, what we want to do is delete all but one ad set. So let's just do UFO because that's the one I've been doing previously. So then I'm going to uh, select all and I'm going to hit delete. Okay, and so that's got to delete 50, 60 something ads, which will take maybe uh, 10 seconds. All right, so there we go. So let's review and publish. I always like to have this as up to date as possible. Okay, so then now let's look at the ads. We only have eight ads to work with. All right, so then let's reverse engineer these. Um, all right, let's go to UFO and let's just start at the top. All right, so then what we're gonna do is change the title. We're gonna go 
Amazon. I'm going to get my new Bitly link. All right. I'm going to go into the copy and I'm going to change where it's tagged. It's going to be Amazon Prime Video. And then there's the link. Change the web URL. Change the display link. Cool. On to the next one. Same thing. All right, now that I've updated all of the ads with the uh, new links and the proper text, what I'm going to do is go ahead and publish this set of ads for this ad set. All right, hit that publish button, and let's see how long it takes to load. All right, so those are all in review now. All right, so then if we go... Um, to our ad sets, right? We now have one ad set, one set of ads for one ad set. So now let's go ahead and duplicate the ads to go into each one of these ad sets. All right, so we'll go into the ad set, um, we'll select all, we'll go to duplicate. We'll want to keep it in the existing campaign, but we're going to want to put it in different ad sets. So let's put it in space exploration. Let's put it in ancient aliens. Let's put it in UFO. Let's put it in Joe Rogan. Let's put it in history channel. Let's put it in extraterrestrial life. Um, conspiracy theory. Um, actually, we want to delete UFO because it's already in UFO. So this is now the leftover ad sets, right? So we're going to duplicate all eight of these ad sets into each one of these, or all eight of these ads into each one of these ad sets. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit duplicate. It's going to run the math, and now you can see each one of these is in its own ad set. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. It's got to replicate 56 ads. Ninety three per cent, ninety five, ninety six, ninety eight, all right, cool, we're published. Okay, so now let's look at um, let's uncheck this ad set. Let's look at our um, indistinguishable from Magic Facebook VOD Amazon campaign. And let's see how many ads there are. We have, um, where the hell is the number? Oh, 64, 64 ads. Let's go ahead and review and publish the rest of those. Um, and there's one last thing that I like to do just to uh, keep things clean um, is you can see how in the duplicate 
it created a, an additional tag of copy. Um, I usually like to go and delete all of those, um, which can take a little bit of time. Um, but that's, you know, the last step in duplicating a Facebook ad campaign, at least a, a sophisticated one, um, inside the Google Business Manager. Alright, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about Facebook ads, uh, paid media, etc., feel free to hit me up.